Have you ever wondered who kick-started the Industrial Revolution with the power of steam? That man was none other than James Watt, who emerged from humble origins in the shipbuilding town of Greenock, Scotland. Born in the 18th century, Watt grew up in the shadow of his father's shipbuilding trade. It was here, among the hustle and bustle of maritime life, that a spark of curiosity was ignited in young James. The wheels and pulleys, the masts and sails, all these elements of his father's craft inspired him and set the stage for his future innovations. But it wasn't the sea that would claim Watt's interest. Instead, it was the seemingly simple yet incredibly powerful substance of water vapor. The steam that powered the kettles and heated the homes of his town would become Watt's obsession and his ticket to immortality. The young James Watt, a curious and inventive mind, was about to change the course of history. What if we told you that the man who revolutionized industry was once considered a weakling? Yes, indeed. The life of James Watt started not with a bang, but with a whimper. Born in Greenock, Scotland, in the year 1736, Watt was a frail child. His poor health often kept him away from school, leading to an unconventional education that was largely at home. This unexpected twist in his early years, however, turned out to be a blessing in disguise. As he spent long hours at home, Watt found himself entranced by the world of mathematics and mechanics. He would often be found in his father's workshop, tinkering with tools and creating miniature models. This fascination was not a mere child's play, but the first flicker of a flame that would brighten the world of industry. As Watt grew, so did his passion for mechanics. He realized that to feed his curiosity and craft, he needed formal training. So, in 1755, at the age of 19, Watt packed his bags and moved to London. It was here that he apprenticed under a renowned instrument maker. This was not an easy journey. The work was rigorous, the hours were long, and the city was an alien landscape for the young Scot. But Watt persevered. He learned the craft of instrument making, honing his skills and absorbing everything he could about the intricate mechanisms that make machines work. Yet, London was not to be his permanent home. After a year of intense learning, Watt returned to Scotland in 1756. He carried with him not just his newly acquired skills, but also a sense of purpose. He was a man on a mission, a man with a dream, a man who was ready to change the world. With his newly acquired skills, Watt returned to Scotland, unaware of the great invention that awaited him. Little did he know that he was on the precipice of a revolution that would change the course of human history. Can you imagine a world where steam power was inefficient and barely used? Hard to picture, isn't it? But that was the reality before James Watt stepped onto the scene. Our story takes us to the University of Glasgow, where Watt was working as an instrument maker. It was here that he encountered the Newcomen steam engine, a marvel of its time. This engine was used to pump water out of mines, but Watt, with his sharp mind and keen eye, saw something others didn't, inefficiency. The Newcomen engine was wasteful, squandering heat and steam. It heated and cooled the cylinder with each stroke, leading to a colossal loss of energy. Watt knew there had to be a better way, and he was determined to find it. His eureka moment came in the form of a separate condenser. By allowing the cylinder to remain hot and the condenser to stay cool, Watt's design was able to prevent the colossal waste of energy seen in the Newcomen engine. This was a game changer. Watt had turned a fuel-guzzling behemoth into an efficient, practical machine. But the significance of Watt's separate condenser goes beyond just improved efficiency. Can you imagine the impact of an engine that could power machinery continuously without needing to stop and reheat? This opened up a world of possibilities. Industries could now operate on a scale and at a speed never seen before. The steam engine, once a niche device used only in mining, was now a driving force of industry. Watt's separate condenser was more than just an invention, it was a catalyst. It transformed the steam engine from a novelty into a powerhouse, from a curiosity into a revolution. It was the spark that ignited the Industrial Revolution, changing the face of the world and paving the way for the modern era. It was a testament to Watt's genius, his foresight, and his determination to make the world a better place. Watt's separate condenser was the spark that ignited the Industrial Revolution. But how did Watt's invention spread across the world? Let's take a step back to the late 18th century. The man James Watt, an innovator, a visionary, and a steam engine revolutionary, was not alone in his endeavors. As with many great accomplishments, his success was a team effort. 
And the other half of this dynamic duo was none other than Matthew Bolton. Bolton was an industrialist, an entrepreneur, and he saw the potential in Watt's steam engine. They formed a partnership in 1769, a partnership that would catalyze the Industrial Revolution and change the world as we know it. You see, Watt was an inventor, a thinker. He had the ideas, the designs, the prototypes. But Bolton, he had the resources, he had the manufacturing capabilities, and perhaps most importantly, he had the business acumen. Together, they were able to secure patents, protecting Watt's inventions from being copied and allowing them to manufacture and sell the steam engine on a scale that Watt alone could not have achieved. And the impact of their engines? It was transformative. Let's consider a few key industries of the time, mining, textiles, and transportation. Before Watt and Bolton's steam engine, these industries were powered by manpower, animal power, or at best, rudimentary water power. They were inefficient, labor-intensive, and limited by natural resources. But with the advent of the steam engine, these industries were revolutionized. Mining operations could go deeper, extracting more resources. Textile mills could operate faster, producing more goods. Transportation networks could reach farther, connecting more people and places. The steam engine made these industries more efficient, more profitable, and in doing so, it transformed economies, societies, and the very fabric of life in the 18th century. Watt's steam engine was not just an invention, it transformed economies and societies. It was the catalyst for an era of unprecedented growth and progress. An era that would lay the groundwork for the modern world we live in today. So what's the big deal about a steam engine anyway? Well, let's delve into the legacy and impact of James Watt's invention. The steam engine, in essence, was more than just a machine. It was a catalyst, a spark that ignited a revolution, not just in industry, but in every aspect of life as we know it. Watt's steam engine was the driving force behind the Industrial Revolution. It accelerated the pace of production, enabling factories to produce goods faster and more efficiently than ever before. This led to a surge in economic growth, transforming Britain from a largely agrarian society to an industrial powerhouse. But the impact didn't stop at the factory gates. The steam engine revolutionized transportation, powering locomotives and steamships, shrinking the world and opening up new markets and opportunities. As the industrial revolution took hold, we saw an unprecedented wave of urbanization. People flocked to cities in search of work leading to the growth of towns and cities. It was the dawn of a new era, an era of bustling city life, of towering chimneys and clanking machinery. Watt's legacy extends beyond the realms of industry and economics. His invention had profound social implications as well. It changed the way people lived, worked and thought about the world. It gave rise to new social classes, new ways of thinking and new forms of art and literature. It was, in every sense, a revolution. And it's not just the tangible impacts of the steam engine that mark Watt's legacy. He was honored for his contributions to science and technology, most notably with the naming of the unit of power, the Watt after him. This recognition immortalizes Watt's name and his contribution to the world. So, what's the big deal about a steam engine? It's more than a machine. It's a symbol of progress, of change, of the indomitable spirit of human ingenuity. James Watt didn't just invent a machine, he shaped the world we live in today. What can we learn from James Watt's life and achievements? For starters, his story is a testament to the power of perseverance and ingenuity. Born to a shipbuilder in Greenock, Watt's early years were marked by curiosity and a drive to understand the world around him. This curiosity led him to revolutionize the steam engine, an invention that transformed industries and propelled us into the industrial age. But Watt's story doesn't stop there. His partnership with Matthew Bolton and their relentless pursuit of patents demonstrate the importance of collaboration and protection of intellectual property. Together, they established a business model that many modern-day inventors and entrepreneurs follow. Beyond his inventions, Watt's legacy lives on in the unit of power named after him. His impact is felt every day in every corner of the globe, powering our lives in ways he could have never imagined. James Watt, the son of a shipbuilder from Greenock, became the catalyst for the Industrial Revolution, proving that curiosity and determination can indeed change the world.